Hi, day two and the Promethean board did not work this morning. Um, and I had all my class planned for that. So I had to like, I mean, I had half and half. I was planning some centers with the board and handwriting and the copy machine didn't copy properly and the board was not working. So I had to, you know, just improvise the other part. Um, and the kids were a bit restless this morning. They were, some of them were testing the boundaries. I got very firm with the ones that were testing those boundaries. And I'm trying to see how to work with them, you know. Um, right now it's lunch. <laughs> it's almost 1 p.m. And it's the only time that I've had to breathe. <laughs> but the second hour went quite well. We had, um, we went over our rules and we were coloring the a booklet that I gave them. I gave them this booklet with the rules that we had, our classroom rules, so it's all the whole brain teaching rules. And we also did some maths and they really liked that one. We were counting and coloring. And I managed to do some assessments of letter recognition and sound recognition. So that's good. Um, I am really proud of them because they, ah, I also taught them a song to transition um, when we line up and have to leave. And they really like the song and they are just vibing to it and it's so cute to see. Um, so now like they really just got it, you know, that, that transition and I, we need to practice other transitions, other things, but of course, little by little, we will be building up on that. And what I'm really proud of is that that song with the transition and cleaning up is like on point. So my kids really tidied up. They know how to, like they learn how to clean up their space, how to put their things in their unfinished work folder and how to check back to it. Like whenever they have some time, they check the folder to see if everything is done. So I would just show you. I mean, you guys look how clean this is. Like, their desks are nothing compared to mine. <laughs> mine is a mess. And over there, over here, we have the unfinished work folder. And they put all of the things that they haven't finished. And so they are working on that. So, yeah. Um, right now I'm going to have lunch. And then I have duty in the, in the school grounds. Um, during the recess, their long recess, and then they have Italian, so the Italian teacher comes here to our classroom and she teaches them. Uh, but since it's two hours of Italian and it's the first week of school, I'm going to ask her to see if I can just stay here um, and organize things because I really need that time. Um, so yeah. But day two started crazy, it's getting so much better. Now we're ending on a really good note. So I'm really happy about that. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. And I need to plan for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, but when I have that, I will show you, of course. Okay, bye. My desk is finally organized. Everything is good, we're ready to go. I just need to fix this here. And my planning right here. Hi guys, it's Wednesday afternoon, well actually Wednesday night, and I'm just cooking some lunch for Friday. I'm sorry that I didn't have time to vlog in the classroom, but today was just crazy. So let me see where I left you yesterday. Well, yesterday I organized most of the things that the kids have, most of their supplies. I'm really happy about it. And then today, today, today it was supposed to be a bit easier. But the thing is that many things just changed. We had like many last minute changes, many things that, for example, we were supposed to go to the library, but the library is being remodeled. And so um, we don't have access to the level books yet. Uh, and we've been having to find out things just to fill it out, the schedule. And also my kids finish very, very fast. Um, and they're so sweet though, because usually on the first week of school, like you take it slow, you know, you do some coloring activities, you do some, um, 
you know, like easy going, get to know you kind of relationship building things. But my kids, for some reason, even from day one, they were coloring like a um, self portrait and they were like, but teacher, when do we get to work on like math? And when do we get to, you know, learn? <laughs> so they've been at it like super excited to do that um for quite some time now like from the day one i mean i say some i say from quite some time but it's just been two days three uh but they're so sweet and they really finish fast M many of them though i discovered that they don't finish because they're not used to finishing things and they're not used to having like uh to be held accountable for that but now they realize that i do keep track of everything and now they saw that I put that dinosaur stamp on their things that they finished. So today they were just rushing to finish everything that they hadn't done. They just kept going to their unfinished box and like, and what do I do now? But how do I do this? And have I finished? Is it okay? You know, so that was super sweet. But today in the morning, um, we were going, I was going to do some letter assessments, um, some math ex assessments. Uh, but then some, like some part of it, even yesterday, like all of these assessments have required me to have them be very independent, which I didn't want to do, like not on the first week, you know, like I were building our independence, you know, and trying to do these routines and procedures and everything. But because of everything, like yesterday, my computer wouldn't work, um, just like chaos. <laughs> Uh, my kids had to learn to be independent and so the centers that I had planned for like four weeks time once they get their routines and everything I had to use them today so <laughs> um, and a little bit yesterday but more today so I honestly had to have them independent and rotating their groups uh, on the third day of school, which is crazy because they just came from kindergarten without even working on center. So it's just crazy. Uh, but I had to do the assessments and I had to get that done and we couldn't do anything else. So this morning, it was a little bit crazy in terms of the behavior. They were really testing the boundaries, which is okay. I mean, I know it happens. They're like they're so excited and they love you and they're a bit scared on the first day, but then they start, they start to test it. Uh, to see how far they can take it now um, but today I just had to keep like giving them the logical consequence right away and putting them in a timeout like a productive one so for example many kids don't know how to use materials they're not used to using materials like centers so they were just playing with them and throwing them around or bending them um, others were like, but I don't want to do this. I want to play, <laughs> you know, because they're used to playing um, in kindergarten. Um, and, and then they just went for the tops, you know, or they just started playing in the classroom or drawing. And I'm like, no, you guys, you have to do the center. Like, it's a fun game for math, but you have to do it until I say you don't, no? And if you finish, you do it again. So that boundary, they keep testing it. Um, so like the logical consequence was, okay, this is math time. If you don't want to do the fun game to practice your math facts and addition and number sense, then you're going to have to do pages in the workbook. And the workbook is really like copying the word many, many times and doing these exercises that are not as fun, you know, like, of course we would do the book and the exercises, but today it was not meant for that. No, center's time is not meant for that. And so, <laughs> like I had one kid that I had to keep keep doing that with him because he just wouldn't get it. And then I had others that I had to do a few times of that until they got it, you know, but I had to be like very, very, very strict with all of them. Even the ones that usually behave nicely, like, if they didn't behave, they would, they would do a page from the book, you know. But of course, I did it with love and they know that it's for their own good. So much so because some of them were like, were you also punished? Yeah, I got the punishment too, but it's okay. You know, like they, they were fine. They didn't, you know. And I saw that they got this other view from me. Like when I say something, I really mean it. Um, and that changed a little bit. Like it changed a few things towards the end of the day. Like if I would say something 
uh, they knew that I meant business and that there was probably a consequence coming up uh, if they didn't do their work. You know? So it was very exhausting at the beginning of the day. Uh, by 10.30, I was like, oh my gosh, I need coffee. <laughs> Uh, but it was very productive in terms of building the expectation you know, and keeping that expectation on. So that was nice. And then the day just ended up better than before than it started. Um, we, well, they had Italian and I caught up with some things that I had to do. And then um, they learned that I put a sticker whenever, a uh, stamp, sorry, whenever they finish their work. And so they were just like, you know, trying to get all of their work finished. Um, and then we went out to read, um, since we couldn't go to the library, I just took some books and I took them to the grounds, to the school grounds, which are quite big. And it was also so cute because the kids were just looking at the books. Now they don't know how to read yet. So they were just looking at them. But I wanted them to build this sense of, oh, we love books, no? And I had some girls that did not want to sit on the grass because they didn't want to get dirty or whatever, you know? And I kept telling them that there was no problem with the grass. The grass is fine. We can just sit here. They wouldn't do it, no? But then I decided to sit on a log, kind of log, half grass. And I just started reading aloud to one of them. And then the other, the, her best friend, and then another kid, they just came and they lied on my knee, and then they were just like hugging me and listening to the story. And at, by the end of it, they were just lying on the grass. <laughs> so they realized that there is no problem whatsoever with the grass, no? And they also got this thing of like reading, reading together, reading aloud. So maybe I would do that as a routine, I guess. I tried it first, it didn't work that well, but maybe... I could get other stories that I like and then we would do reading time um, a bit less time maybe we can stretch a book over a week or something so yeah we would try that and I have one girl I don't know if I've told you guys but like she she's like so sweet she just hugs me and she's like I love you I love you and then she just like her head like literally hits my tummy and she's like mm, I love you I love you she's so sweet and today another girl also told me like, Miss, I just wanted to tell you that I'm very happy to be here and to be in this classroom. And then yesterday another girl gave me a gift of something that she painted, which I will show you tomorrow. And so it's been nice. It's been a good three days, exhausting, but really worth it. Um, so yeah, that's it for the update on Wednesday. Um, and tomorrow, I hope that I can vlog a little bit more and show you some activities that we've done. We're going to do a Mr. Potato Head, uh, build the face and label it, and I think they're going to love it. So I will show you that. Okay, so see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello. Um, today's Thursday, and we have... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm just so tired right now. But today we worked so much in math, we started doing our numbers. Um, I know that they know how to add, but I wanted them to practice how to, how to write things. So we did numbers 1 to 5. And so let me show you what we did today. So I got this from Teachers by Teachers. Um, it's numbers 1 to 11, and the bundle also comes with the letters of the alphabet and the shapes. So basically you have here like the number, tracing, coloring, writing. And I really like this one because it, ha it includes the writing, then coloring, finding the number, and making a dot. So we did numbers 1 to 5, and they were so good at it. Um, and then during English, we did some phonics, and since we were doing the jolly phonics, I decided to follow the same order. So jolly phonics begins with S, so we did S, and then A. And it's been quite a good day, I think. And it's been quite a good day. I've had some behavior issues at the beginning of the day from some children that keep testing it, but 
I like I am making them try again and practice, practice, practice the correct behavior um, and being very strict with that, you know, with the things that I will accept and the things that I want, because like I understand that we are learning and everything, but being disrespectful and throwing the door and those things I, I cannot get, you know, so so we talked about it. We we practice. It's a work in progress, but I think that most of the class is following quite well and yeah now right now we're going to do a craft with um, labeling a face but we're doing a potato we're doing mr potato from toy story so i'm just cutting now the potatoes <laughs> and then i want them to to build it their own so yeah we're going to do a label mr potato <laughs> and then they will write like the eyes the nose the mouth etc. I think they're gonna have fun with this. Hi everyone, it's Saturday. Yesterday I was so, so tired. It was just, oh my gosh, such a weird, crazy, hard, and hard day that it just, I mean, I came home and I fell asleep at nine with everything, like still my like loungewear, my makeup on, no shower, like I just fell on top of the bed <laughs> and I fell asleep. And then I woke up at like at midnight and then I went to take a shower because I wanted to, you know, I was so dirty and nasty, like, or just so nasty and sweaty that I was like, I need to take a shower. So I just went and took a shower and then I slept until 8 a.m. So basically I slept like 10 or 11 hours, which I never do. Like, I swear to you, I'm like a super morning person. Even on Saturdays, I wake up at 6 or 7 it's been a really long time like and I'm saying I'm talking decades and I'm talking like at least a decade I think since I slept 11 hours <laughs> but I was just dead like I really needed it um, but now I feel fresh I feel like huh, alive again um, yesterday my day started quite well, like I caught up on some things, um, grading, like just checking some works. They had Italian at the beginning of the day, but then the second half of the day was just so crazy. And I think, I mean, the kids are still small. They're used to not only the three months of vacation that they had, but also to kindergarten, that they don't work in the afternoon, that they played half of the day. So they, and they were tired. No, it was the first week of school, so they were tired, of course. Um, so we had like a whole situation during the second period where a kid had thrown up um, and before I could even go and check what had happened, like I saw him, I saw him arching himself and I saw like every, whatever came out of his mouth. Um, but then another child, like she freaked out because she's so scared about COVID. So. She was having like this massive, massive panic attack and hyperventilating and almost fainting. And then the rest of the class were between laughing at the puke and being like, Ew, you know, like, and so it was just hard to control it. And in the end, it turned out like then we called the parents and everything. But at the end, it turned out that the kid had not puked. He had just spat the water out. Um, and I felt so silly because we called the parents. But, you know, like everything just went out of control. Like, I try to keep control of something that was out of control. I No one would have thought that this girl would, you know, react the way that she did. So I, so I didn't even have time to check on the kid that had puked. And I asked him if he, if he was sick, if he was feeling sick. And he said that he was not feeling well. He also told another teacher about it. And so, yeah, it was just a mess. <laughs> And then um, I was just drained. Like after that, I had a one hour break where I was intending to vlog and show you the things that we've been doing. But after that, the whole thing 
I, I was just, I needed some time, you know? Um, and then towards the end of the day, like the kids were supposed to catch up on their work that they didn't finish. Some of they did, some of they didn't. And we did some directed uh, drawings, which they really, really liked. Um, and I'm planning to make it like, we made the, the booklet part so that the, the first drawings that we've made now are going to be the cover and the back cover. And then every work that we do throughout the year, I'm going to put inside and then bind it and give it to them. Um, and we also did directed drawings. And we also did, and we also made a drawing of our family, you know, so they learned some family vocabulary, they learned um, to label like their own family, to draw their own family, and they really liked that. It was just the part at the end of the day where they were just tired, you know, but it was, it was a bit hard and chaotic because they were tired about everything. So they didn't want to work on the things that they were lacking. They didn't want to finish the things that they hadn't finished. So then I decided to give them their certificates for like happy end of the first week. But they were just so tired that they were just, they just looked at me like with that, I just want to go home, you know, <laughs> kind of face. Uh, and they didn't want to color either. They didn't want to play either. And it was just so hot. So I think they, like, you know, they all just wanted to go home. And to be honest, I also just wanted to go home. So I hope though that the mood that we had on Friday is not repeated. I mean, I'm trying my best to keep it lively, but of course I'm also trying to get them used to working and like balancing it out, you know, like we play, but we work, we work and we play and we work and we play, you know, um, because with the centers and everything, I'm planning to keep it up all day, all year long, you know, so that so that they know that it's not just work, 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 work. No, like we do some fun stuff, which is also educational, but they can have some freedom with it, right? But it's just that this week was like a big shock to them, I think, coming back from the holidays and getting used to that takes time, you no? Know? So of course, um, it was funny though, that on the first day of school, they were like, yes i'm ready to you know i'm ready to work we want to work we don't want to color and then by the end of the week they were like i can't do this anymore <laughs> um but i'm just really like hoping that the atmosphere that we have in this in the classroom uh stays more positive like we had in the first honestly until thursday um, because I had many behavior issues on Friday and they just wouldn't listen, some of them. Um, I'm, I'm, I think that I am going to redo my classroom rules because the whole brain teaching rules are not working in my classroom. And they're not working because, not because we haven't practiced them enough, because we have, but it's just the way that the class works and the way that our lessons work and our schedule works. It's really, really hard to make this consistent. Uh, raise your hand before speaking, uh, raise your hand before you leave your seat, etc., etc. Like that is really just not working. Um, so I think that I'm going to change it. I just don't know like what kind of rules we can have that show, you know, the kids what they need to do, what's the consequence if they don't do it. Um, you know at the same time like i didn't want to ruin the first week by sending you know letters home about their behavior or sending the unfinished work home um i think that i'm going to start doing that next week uh, and then we will see how that works right so but first but first i would like to i think but i still think that before sending letters home about the behavior I want to practice new rules and then see how that works and then we send the, be the behavior notice home. Uh, what I will send next week is the unfinished work folder which I'm finishing to set up and that's it. So today uh, I'm working on some labels that I'm giving the kids because next week we will have a classroom jobs, we will have um, a cubby for each of the kids so that they can put their books there 
because before, if you saw in some of my vlogs, we had this bookshelf um, and I just had time to put the books by type and not by kit, you know, because I had to also make sure which books the kids had, which, which books they hadn't. So, but it's really hard for them to put them away, so I want to give them their own individual cubby. And we're also going to do, yeah, the classroom jobs, um, the unfinished now what, and a finished work folder. And I think that's it. I'm planning the labels as I did last year, so right now I have these. So last year I did the same, I just printed these small uh, melon heads and I'm covering the name but basically like here I have a label with the kid's name and then I um, laminate it and we use it all year so these labels go on top of the cubbies and they also go as classroom jobs and anything else that I need their own name. And I have them for the rest of my kids, so... And I have them for the rest of my kids, so <laughs> that's really nice. And something that I thought was like a super huge win is that I noticed also since last year that the kids came to the classroom without really knowing how to spell very basic words, you know? So I thought that we should add a little bit more spelling work, you know, word work. And I thought that I would connect it with handwriting as well because I feel that handwriting is something that you should do every day in small increments as opposed to half an hour once a week, you know? So I, I decided to change that up and I am testing it this year. And I'm very happy to say that, for example, on Thursday, we did our label a Mr. Potato Head activity and they learned the vocabulary for ears, eyes, nose, mouth and head. And on Thursday, most of the kids that, w all of the kids that tried to label the head on their own, they wrote eyes as it sounds, no? so they tried to sound it out, so they wrote A-I-S, no? and then they saw in the label that that was not the case. No? And then on Friday, I made them write each word six times and illustrate it. And a few hours later, like six hours later, I heard them talking and someone said something like, I starts with A, ah, not with the sound A. Ah. And six kids more or less said, no, it starts with E. Eh. And then another kid um, straight up said, yeah, it is written a yes, you know, like in the Italian pronunciation. And when I saw that, and the others were like, yeah, yeah, that's how you write it. And I was like, oh my gosh, like they, they really learned how to write it in one day just by practicing it. And they really memorized it and internalized it. And now they know that it's written differently from the way it sounds. So for me, that I am testing this out now and like as a new thing i can see that it's really helping them so i am going to keep it up i know that they don't really like it that much um it is a bit of a tedious work but of course i am you know trying all those other things to do word work not just the um, copying every time no but there will be an element of copying so uh, i think that in the future though they will just learn to do it and do it faster than they do it now and they will learn to like it. I know as a kid I learned how to like it and even if they don't they know that they can just do it, get it over with and that's it, no? But I mean, but I mean repetition is the basis for everything, right? So it's necessary. Um, yeah, so I still have no idea what I'm going to teach next week. I need to talk with my team teacher um, it's been kind of like a rough week in terms of planning. I had to plan everything on the spot and change many things that we had agreed on. Like, like each of us just went our own ways because it was so hard to do the same thing, you know. Um, and it seems that this week is going to be <laughs> the same. Uh, but hopefully by Thursday we can get to planning together and everything will be better. So... That concludes the end of my first week of school. Uh, it had it was a roller coaster, but I am very happy. I'm very happy with my new class. I miss my old ones as well. <laughs> um, 
but it's really really nice you know um i i'm looking forward to the things that we can do as a class and if you have any ideas of classroom rules that we could have for first graders that still don't know how to read and that they like to visit their friends on their desks and that they cannot stay seated please let me know like what i can do Good morning, it is Monday, September the 19th, and today I'm just finishing, like just a very quick update, I will tell you later more about it, but I've been tracing this, the writing folders, in the writing notebooks, because we will be practicing um, guided writing and sentence writing, so last week we tried it, it didn't work quite well, so this week I am changing some things and we will try to write about our family. So I will update you when I have a bit more time because right now the kids are coming back <laughs> for recess and I'll talk to you later, bye. Hey everyone, I just got some time now so I will show you what we've been up to. We finished our aliens and then tomorrow we will do the math part then we'll be done and we will put them here. They're so nice, so different. I also hung up our birthday wall. And it's been quite good. I actually am really, really happy with everything that we did. Um, they're really good at math. And I think that the daily calendar is helping a lot. We also started the super improver wall yesterday. And I've seen that today they are working better. Some of them, the, the ones that were not working that well, they just started doing it. That was super nice. And yeah, the calendar math is helping them a lot, I think. To just keep track of the days, what comes after, what comes before. Um, what month we're in, even if they don't know what a month is, but they know that we're in September, so that's quite good. Um, also, the days in the school, they started to really like the calendar, uh, which on the first day they were like, what is this, you know, <laughs> really, they really like it now. Um, yeah, and now I have three, so we did letter B, letter, letter, we did letter S, letter A, with Geraldine the giraffe, which I love those videos and I love them as well. Then we did a word wall with each of those words. Then we did, um, yeah, we couldn't do the math part of the alien, but we did the alien. I hope that tomorrow we can finish the math. And then um, right now I have free because I have Italian, so I don't have to do anything anymore. So I just organize myself, check some work, plan, and just update some things so that tomorrow I don't have to rush, hopefully. And that's it. Hi guys. Hi guys. Um, today was a really hard day. And I didn't want to record because I didn't want to feel, show <laughs> that I failed. I. It was just a really hard day. And there are some things that I just don't know how to fix. Um, but I also like, I thought that it would be best to just record it, to just say it, because I would really appreciate the advice, um, or the words of encouragement. Yeah. My class just went wild today. Like, they were fine at the beginning, but I have some children that are really overly spoiled. And, for example... There's this kid that never, ever does anything. No work. He's always talking. He's always like off task, bothering others. And there's no amount of like time out or anything. Anything really that, or loss of privilege or anything at all that really 
make some change, not even positive enforcement, you know. And if the kid doesn't want to work, well, they don't, they don't work, and then I would tell the parents. But if having a positive enforcement is going to bring out more problems, then I'd rather not have it, you know, uh, because then they're not competing with each other, they're not fighting for the sticker or crying for the sticker or because they're not really understanding what improvement means, you know. So I think that I think that I would just get rid of the super improver wall um, because the behavior from yesterday that I started using it to today, like yesterday was a nice day, but it just became very entitled and all the time they were like but why am i not getting a sticker or when am i going to get a sticker and if i finish do i get a sticker and i'm like that's not the purpose of it you know but if that's going to happen then i'm just not gonna do it and i'd rather not have any of those things at all you know so that was one thing the other thing I don't know, like I've been practicing, practicing, practicing our rules, reinforcing them, procedures, everything has a place, everything has a routine, everything is done, and it was great this week, but today and a little bit yesterday, it was just, they were just wild. <laughs> so I don't know if it's just me or if they are like feeling too confident with me and I don't like that so you know I just I think I'm going to change some things around many of them started to display really awful behaviors because they finished early and uh, I gave them things to do when they finished you know like they have their centers they have all of that but then they just they just wouldn't carry there and then they would just think that it was playtime and they could do whatever and scream in the classroom and these kinds of behaviors where you, I mean, come on, like you don't scream in the classroom, you don't run in the classroom, but I, I just, I'm at a loss as to how to fix that because the parents are not the kind that reinforce that at home. The parents, the parents literally question you whether you are capable of controlling their uncontrollable kid. And they don't like you if you can't. And it's like, but you're the one that that got him like this, disrespectful, like to reach this disrespectful level, you know? But it's the type of parents that I have to deal with. Um, but I just don't know how to reinforce the sitting down, the not screaming, and the doing what you're told. You know, like I, th I thought that a positive enforcement would work but it's actually making the contrary effect. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I should do timeout. I don't know if I should tell the parents. I, I just don't know. And it's not like it's been bad all this time. It hasn't. Like I've been having a great few days of the first, you know, a great few first days. But I started to see it a bit and today it just exploded, you know. And so I'm really questioning things. Also, I have this new kid. I had zero, zero idea on how to behave in class and I, I've been trying to help him but then he's become very defiant, very, very defiant and the mom just also coddles him and he just thinks he can do whatever, that he can play in the classroom whenever and I just don't know how to stop that, you know, <laughs> other than telling him sit down or whatever, you know, like nothing helps. Um, I wrote a letter to his mom and he knows it and yet he continued to to misbehave so and then they started copying behaviors from each other you know so at some point I thought maybe I should just split them like not have them share a table but then I would have to change my entire room like I would have to add six more desks and they just have like the very big table so then we would have no space in the classroom we wouldn't have anything so I don't know if what I should do is just fill them with work so that they don't have time to <laughs> misbehave but at the same time it's just it's the beginning of the school year and they cannot do many things independently they don't know how to read so I don't know like I feel that giving them more work is also more work to me but 
I just don't know what to do. I have some kids that finish in 10 minutes and some kids that take days to finish something. So I don't know, you guys. I'm just at a real loss and I just wanted to vent because today was really, really hard. Like We tried reading and they would just play with the books and uh, or just play in the classroom. And I never said play, but they just do it. So I need to know how to change that and i was i think that i will start removing some of the fun and then just going like straight up boring hard task until they get it that they have to behave you know but we'll see uh anyways i'm just gonna get comfort food <laughs> with nachos and then tomorrow's gonna be another day tomorrow they finally have pe lessons so I hope that they come back super tired <laughs> and yeah, that's about it. Maybe, maybe I should also like just take some time of class, like when they are free, when half of the class is free and I just made them practice, 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 practice behaviors. Maybe I do that, but we'll see. Thank you for listening and I will see you tomorrow. I hope that tomorrow is a better day than it was today. Good morning, it's Monday and last week it was just a disaster. I spent the weekend thinking about it, I sent reports to parents, some kids took like 12 worksheets to finish home, but it was useful in the way that parents realized what was happening. Parents um, really worked hard, we worked on a solution to get their kids working. And what I'm going to do now is that they have a diary that they bring home from home. And so I will put this weekly report uh, sheet. Uh, so this goes over like, I respect my community, I complete my assignments, and I listen, I follow directions. So every day, like I would just call her a smiley and then I would just put a comment or something on it. Um, Last week was just crazy, like I mean, I even had a kid that threw a Pokeball at the principal and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, like, what am I going to do? Um, but yeah, I am hoping that this week we start fresh and we go over rules, we go over procedures and I also want to implement a few things like to make them move a bit more so that we don't have behavior issues, but I'm also going to be really, really hard with them. Um, and I think that I will have to keep some of them during recess because they still don't get it, but they need to work. Like they are just there, not doing anything and they can do it, but they don't want to. So we're working on that. Um, some of the kids already got it and I saw that they finished today. So that was quite nice. And yeah, <laughs> today we wrote our weekend news. And since most of them went to a student's party, uh, they had fun during the party and everything. We use this format. So every week I draw these on their notebooks and they write here the title, the date, the one or two sentences and then they draw it. And then in math we're going to finish, oh we're going to do numbers 11 to 16. And I'm going to introduce um, comparing numbers to the crocodile. I think they will like that. And then we're going to finish our personal timeline and like the clothes from toddler to adult. So I hope it's going to be a good day. The kids are rested, so I think it's going to be better than last week. And I think that with this and with more rigorous um, with more rigorous instruction, I guess, uh, they will get it, you know. Uh, I still, I mean, I don't like to be super, super rigorous. I like to have rules and expectations, but I don't like to be very strict. Um, but I don't like to be, like, authoritative, as the parents want me to, want me to be. But we'll find a balance, I think. Um, so let's hope that this works. Hi, it's been a while. I think the last time I vlogged was Monday, um, but I was just, it was a week and I will speak about this later. Today's Friday, September the 30th. Today's Friday, September the 30th. 
and we are having the best day ever like ever and i think the struggle that we had these past days was good because they saw like they tested the boundaries and they saw that they weren't getting anywhere and now like they they learn to appreciate um the way that i teach them and every time that i'm gone and that like every time that they have another class whenever they see me or whenever they see me come back they're like teacher we miss you so so much and i mean the other teachers are great of course also like they're they're super cool but it's nice that they that they appreciate what i do as well you know so that's really cool and i will explain it later but i just wanted to say that we've been doing our bright ideas books we're using these books the class book and the activity book today and now we just have some time to finish things so i want to do a directed drawing with them because i want that to be our friday thing and then they just have to finish some paintings that they, they did for autumn and then on monday i can show you and finish some work that they had left so we will have a very very chill afternoon we're going to be reading falling for autumn like peter cat falling for autumn and i think that they will love it so we'll see how it goes